when we are talking about is that the cultural expression of Rastafari, the most visible cultural expression of Rastafari, physical expression of Rastafari, get watered down by men and people who decide, say, the, the, the chalice. But I notice, say, uh, the locks them kind of get twisty twisty more now, like map. Blessed love, my viewers and subscribers who are gone. Open all doing good, open all doing great. Now, my people, they again, Pani Soldier TV with another Moza Burka content, and this one is indeed the latest cutting edge as of March the 20, 2024. The latest. And in this one, my people, the main topic in this one, the Rastafarite movement. And liberty is getting watered down by too much stylish dread. Them take the thing from a whole different level. Muta Baruka explain. And also Mama Fire. All our fruit trees and stuff got destroyed due to JPS running wire. Also a lot more interesting topic about white Jesus. A whole lot my people. Definitely wanna stay tuned because this is going to be really educational as always. So, you know, it's a black power movement, so definitely drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And also, share with a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement. And let's go straight into the video. Check out what Muta Baruka has to say. Ton load of topic here, my people. So let's all stay tuned and let's walk. Believe you me, it's enough gone. Enough. Enough gone. But we're still there. Give thanks for that. So, here we're going to do tonight, you know. You know, so we love clips. <laughs> we're going to play some clip and we're going to take some phone call. So much things are going on. I know so the people they want to talk. So we are going after not this set of, not this set of um, ad, advertis, advertisement, but the next set of advertisement, we are going to take some call and we are going to also play some clip. People them start to get interested in the clip them. Yes, people are talking about the clip them. Yeah, have conversation about the clip them. Very important that you do that. Because that is why we do it. You know, in the beginning of this program, yeah, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, we used to play uh, some tape rather right, hour and two hour long. But now the generation where they are, so now we are listening, they don't have that listening span. They don't nah, sit down and listen nothing for you know, one hour because I say I'll tick tock, you know, tick tock all couple minutes, not even a minute. And it changes yes, something yeah. else, you know. Well, I saw them have the youth, them now. The youth, them now have no. Attention span. You start to show them something for our hours. Them start to chat. Them start to find something else to do. Them take up them iPhone and start browse it and all them something else. So we give thanks to the clip. Them we can make sense in the short space of time we have. This is the cutting edge and I refer them. DJ every day with you. You know. You know. I me mean, notice a trend. A trend that go on as it relates to locks. Apparently, the youth them who lack. I refem. I did lick that. You, you hear? Yeah, me I say. Apparently, the youth them who lack nowadays don't want the Nati Congo Bongo locks. I don't know why. Them tree and them locks will grow a certain way. I talk about male and female. And when them tighten the locks too much, them ear recede. It go right to the, like not the middle of them head. And them forehead just get shine. But I notice uh, the locks them kind of get twisty twisty more now like map. The youth, them draw uh, them locks become Nati Congo Bongo because it's hard to pull out. 
And it, maybe if them change their mind, them can pull it out and twist it up. But it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. This will lax has become amongst the youth, them. As I say, them don't want them lax look like a tree. They want them lax look like a grass. Yeah, it's that the, the, the grass look or the bamboo look. Not the Congo look. You know, it's weird. It's weird how the thing gets away. Because some people might have tell you, say, locks don't have nothing to do with Rasta. And I don't know what people, how somebody can have said that. When it's Rasta bring locks in a Jamaica, what was the purpose of locks when it appeared in a Jamaica? If it's never important to the cultural expression. As a matter of fact, it's the most visible cultural expression of Rastafari. To the point where even people who are not Rasta take up the style, and I call it style, quote unquote style. Because now it is no longer a dirty head looking kind of thing again because people can use all sort of chemical and all sort of thing now for groom and prune and I mean I, well, it, it's funny it's straight it's straight it's straight yes because when we look at all the false locks them about Jamaica you know when we see some girls have on both uptown and ghetto girl the other time, them wouldn't even want them ear look that way there. Much less with Havana wig. Will look like locks. A wig will look like locks. Sure. Was unbelievable, unheard of. So, 20 years ago. I mean, I talk about just 20 years ago. And we see people who have locks now. Twist it so much now that it don't look like it locks again. It look like when you buy a brand new map. And then put so much things in it that you can't see, say, it not going to last long. Yeah, by the time they reach a certain age, it not dead again. It's a weird thing. Because it's all about fashion, not it not nothing. It not have nothing to do with cultural expression again. It have something to do with fashion and how you can look today, tomorrow you look a different way, and how you can fit into society. Cause a whole heap of ones who do them ears so now is a fit into society. Them can't go certain place with them locks look certain way. That's all it is, you know. Cause the other time when them wouldn't allow Rasta. In a certain place with them ear normal and natural, just like how Afro have the same stigma too. A whole heap of school in a Jamaica never allow Afro in a them school, you know, all wool and all them school there, you know. You couldn't go to school with Afro, the girl them couldn't Afro them ear. It have perm and press and has steam too. A whole heap of grease. Afro was a no no. For those of you who can remember, Angela Davis. Angela Davis was like the icon of our black woman supposed to look in at them time there. In at the 70s, 60s and 70s. With her Afro. So big that she did have a poster of her that every woman, at least young girl, who was finding themselves as black conscious you so want to look like Angela Davis and then Mira Makiba come Mira Makiba here was shot they used to call it the Makiba look the Makiba look she, she come with a shot afro and that was also an hallmark of our black woman 
look was authentic. No locks, just afro, straight afro. No permanent, vermin and termin. Straight natural. Because the Rasta woman, even though she have her locks, she never used to show it. She never used to show it. So you see all the Rasta woman, you just see her ear tie up. And the man them have a thumb, but you never used to see Rasta woman have flashed them locks while across the place. But somewhere along the line, it become a fashion statement. So now them twist it up and it become a fashion statement. So in order not to make it become a fashion statement even more, them start to wig it out. So you have wig, wiggy, wiggy, wiggy all over the place. You can't tell the wig them from the jig them. It's a weird thing. So the one who maintain them Congo Bongo locks now look like say them out of time, oh, out of space. It just look like a word that they put him head. The same people them who have locks I said that you know. The same people them who have said locks I said that. Like them don't know what it is to have a Congo Bongo locks. A locks where just locks. It not it not twist up and turn round and bring round and come round. It just locks. Like how the nature design it to be. be. No, you don't have no natural you don't have no whatever what's natural again, you know, because people are to say natural when you don't put nothing on your head here. But you don't have no nature looking locks around the place amongst most youth yeah, who are said them a rasta again. Yeah, fashion. Yeah, most of them who say them a rasta, them ear is not grown normally. And I will say naturally because, as I say, natural seeds to take to a different mindset now. When you say natural now, it's like when you say you are vegetarian. Vegetarian now come different now. Don't you have to, Distinguish between vegetarian and ital, or even vegetarian and vegan. You see, because vegetarian don't necessarily mean say he's vegan. Yes, when me did I say vegetarian, me did think say vegetarian was people who don't eat flesh, don't consume nothing from animal. That is all we did I see it. Whenever they see the vegetarian eat fish, what kind of madness is that? Fish are not vegetable. The, the idea of the word veggie, vegetable, vegetarian. Obviously, somebody who just eat vegetable. I don't see how fish come in at that. But they have a different word now. They have lacto vegetarian. They have lacto and they have vegan vegetarian. And now them got Pisces. <laughs> they got rather right that vegetarian talk now. So it's not we are decide that for ourselves again, you know. I want you to know that, you know. It's some people who come look for our things and say, I wonder if them do that, them could have make some money or fight. After I wonder if them could have do that, them could have make some money or fight. And that is what them do. Them come take it. I start make money and fight. That is why you have so much wig locks about the place. And the wig locks now overshadow the real locks. Because the people them who have the real locks want them locks to look like the wig locks. Can you imagine that? That's a problem. The wig locks them look more acceptable in the workplace are in a certain place and more acceptable. So the, the, the youth who locks now, him prefer him locks to look like the wig locks because more than likely nobody now going to say nothing to him. You know see it? But the Congo locks now, it still scare free, still, still scare people. 
Bell Congo Lax, the Ayabingi Lax, the Haita Lax. We don't have no chemical in there. And we grow according to nature. It's still the boat. But we don't walk over the place and flash it all over the place. But it's still the boat. And some of them girls that we will like you if you ever take off your turban and take off your thumb and them see your locks, them could have run. <laughs> They could have run if they see it. Because that is not how they perceive or conceive or even want them here for look. So the stigma is still there. there. And it's not we put the stigma up on it, you know. It's the same people them who never did like locks, who create big lock, locks now, come decide for we which locks is more acceptable than which locks is acceptable. The same people who say you can't come to school with your locks. And now when you say you come to school, you like, say you have to put on them. And then they might accept a certain looking kind of locks. Yeah. It's a certain looking kind of locks. It fascinates them. It's like an exotic kind of locks. It's this way to reach. It's this way to reach. The same locks, like what them say Moses did have. Now work for them as set of people yeah. Not working. And if you go in a certain place, if you look on how people do them locks now who work in a certain place, you don't never know to them locks. You have to come near. Some of them look bald because they have had rows of locks in them head. And them twist it so much and groom it so much and prune it so much. That it lose the essence of what it intended it to, what Rastafari intended it to represent as a cultural expression. And it's beautiful that black people can find themselves in them ear. But you can't see, say, especially the female, them, them not find themselves. The ear is just another thing upon them head. Because them, them, them have red ear, blue ear, green ear. Them have ear with twist, locks ear, all sort of ear, where them kind of chew on them head and go out. So it don't represent a cultural expression of blackness. Like how the Afro represent a certain blackness. And the Makiba look, they represent a certain blackness. And then Rastafari come with the lock and it represent a certain blackness. Now all of them things they get diluted. Can remember them they come with the Afro wig too, you know. They would come with the Afro wig. All of them diluted. Even the locks get diluted. Even the one them will say natural locks. Ah, them locks real. Them locks get diluted. It yeah. no represent where it's supposed to represent. In the beginning. Serious thing, and Bernie Spears said, You know, when we just start moving amongst Rasta as a school youth, I go to Kingston Technical High School. When we go amongst Rasta, especially a la Bingy, a chalice, Mr. Lemma born, you know, chalice. Man, them hold up the chalice and when them dry it up, man, and let it out, man, you can't even see nobody. The amount of smoke will surround them. A man said, Ja, Rastafari, and chant up for them, a chant up and all them really. When we realize now, them you tell a smoke chalice, because more herbs to them is like a little hippie thing. It's like a cigarette thing. It's a substitute for cigarette. That was the intention. Rastafari, it was the intention for Rasta to substitute cigarette. Substitute herbs have cigarette. It was the intention. 
If you listen to the music, them where heal up herbs, I give praises for herbs. It have nothing to do with cigarette. Rastafari did not smoke herbs at a sacrament. Most Rasta who smoke it believe that it carried them to the next level of Rastafari. The thing now is that that communal spirit of Rastafari around the chalice. You hardly see that again. Because even if you see some Rasta still on now, I know chalice them have a spliff. Like some hippie thing. When the hippie them did just start come at Jamaica, them couldn't take the chalice. And the Rasta now give them no chalice to smoke neither. The Rasta don't want them to come touch them chalice as a matter of fact. Them roll a spliff in some can trash or banana leaf. Well, for people don't even know that can't possible. Yeah, man. Me, them monks Rasta would have never put them herbs in a paper. Never. I would them call Rizla. The Rasta, them when me come monks, never would have put them herbs in a no paper and I smoke it in a them mouth. A can trash. Banana leaf. Then put it over the, the fire and make it kind of get dry. And roll spliff with it. But mostly it was a spliff. It was a spliff. You still have Rasta who sit down and chant. And burn them chalice. But a whole heap of them you do not know nothing about that. If you see them sit down on the corner. Stand up on the corner. Them have a... Some herbs in the hand mingle I grind it up. And them get a little Rizla paper and roll it up. And then them go in at the bar go get some liquor in a plastic jug, mug, plastic cup. And me like them a smoke, them a drink, smoke and a drink. And them have on the same locks so me I tell you about the twist up locks. And when them see you, them are pass, they say, them say, Rastafari. That don't go the time when them, the next thing them turn around and tell a man must go suck him mother. And they said there, the same man who, when them see Rasta pass, when them, when them claim Rasta supposed to be, them ball out Rastafari loud, loud, loud. And a man touch them is another argument that. And they saw it there. And they saw it there. So even though we can't say a level of knowledge projected from the Rastafari community, but we see a mindset that develop has developed we're not not there more than a look just a look you have two men in a parliament now if you ask them if I write them tell you no if you ask them if they write them in a parliament if you ask them if I write them say no but guess what anytime the youth them see them them say Rasta Two Rasta in a parliament, Crawford, Rasta. If you ask Crawford, my Rasta, I'm saying, no, I'm a Christian. But him, him lacks well groomed. Like the other one, I don't remember where his name. Well groomed. No, I'm not telling a man not to groom him here and not to do this, you know. Not, not the point. What I talk about is that the cultural expression of Rastafari. The most visible cultural expression of Rastafari. Physical expression of Rastafari. Get watered down by men and people. Who oh, decide, say, for the, the, the chalice. And show some like a fashion statement. How to be fashionable. 
with the red, gold, and green, and the locks and the herbs, three very important expression of Rastafari. The herbs, the colors. The colors is another thing. The colors is another thing. Look at all Bob Marley now. The, 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 in Indonesia and certain part of the East there. They might, build, they might make sarang. Sarang, I don't know if anybody knows sarang. Sarang is like you have a, a big tin towel like and you have a picture of Bob Marley on it, or a red, gold, and green color. And you have some woman who have on them nothing, and them they on the one hard coast, they go up on the beach. Them just tie that round them and just sit down on it, with Bob Marley face all over it. And that's right there. The red, gold, and green, and I need them between them, round them, all sort of them. So the red, gold, and green has become just another thing. That wasn't the that was the intention of Rastafari. It's the flag of Ethiopia. Rastafari did not show the flag of Ethiopia. The red, gold, and green with the lion and the migle. We see the bob of them fly, the Ghanaian flag, the red, gold, and green with the black star line in the middle. We see man, we see the people are, are advertise our rum with the red, gold, and green. As a matter of fact, advertise everything that is despicable to Rastafari with the red, gold, and green. We can't copyright that. But we can't fall in line with them and those who is doing these things sacrilegiously. We have to call it sacrilegiously. We can't fall in line with them. I hope some most rest of the to me now will not fall in line with them. Because meanwhile you're there, I born down Babylon with the music. Them have you, I born it down for true with how you appear in the cultural expression of Rastafari and what Rastafari has offered to the world, especially in other ways, yeah. It's been watered down by some of you to get caught in the system and don't know say the system catch them. Even though they are burn it out, are burn it out, are burn it out. Because the same one them have on Clark's boot the same way. They have on the tight up pan the same way. You know, the only difference now is that them let out them locks, make it drop on them back and twist up, twist up. And have a girl beside them, and don't have a clue about nothing. As it relates to where they might deal with. This is the cutting edge. Yes, El. Yes, Mota. Bless her. Yeah, man, you know what I say? Yeah, listen to the clip where you play, and Mr. Mota, you know what I say? A long time, me don't know if you know myself as a black woman, and I say, why me should I put? Me should have perm my hair to make it straight. Because me know so that half of the damage people, they, they bring in a motor. Mm. So me carry them to me here naturally. And I'm not trying about me here. I'm just flat up here and just wear it the same way. You see me? Flat outer style, I know. The other woman and I know flat business. Yeah, because when me wear my Chinese bump and people are looking up, they look for me and they say, Chinese bump and I say, yo, they must help me and tell them about that. And no, man, you know. Some mm. people, they, they, they lean in and they say, yeah, them feel good. This is a, you know, a woman still. Somebody are wearing woman. still. Yeah, I commend me for it. Yeah, man, and I mean, I'm going to do it myself. 
Some of them trees are older than them picnic. Can you believe that? And as I say, what can we do more and mourn the death and the loss of trees that has fed so much over the years? That's all you can do because you can't go to them and say nothing about it. Because going to them and say nothing, no, it do not make no difference to the whole thing. It do not make no difference because they don't chop down the tree. Them don't chop down the tree. And we live with land, just land now. All them coconut. Hey, why may I tell you? May I tell you, Rasta? It 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 rough. Rough. Especially like how you know say. But you know say government can't take away land around road treat, you know. Yeah, you could have there so no one you say you will have a coconut tree them and thing. And them say you know so we go build road. All of them trees they have to go move, you know. A concrete and steel them are work with in all this place, yeah. Yes, a data go on now. Concrete and steel. Concrete and steel going to take over the whole place. And then we're going to really want to see the earth. We're going to want to see it and can't see it. Can't see it. Yeah. The other man, they might move now. They might, well, I'm going to play this junior. Because if it can't play, I'm going to play this junior, you know. Can't play. Right. Mm -mm. Wow. He's a fair camel to go through the eye of an eagle than the rich man to enter the kingdom of God. As a matter of that, you know. Yes. Because you know why it's mad talk? It's not the person who has said it, you know. It's like um to dumpty sat on the wall. It's not the person who created that there's nursery rhyme in that. It means the problem, you know. It's the one who repeats it and don't know where it has said. Sure, that is it. Him keep repeating it and don't know what it means. Why was it written? So when a man I tell you about it, you know, him no one, him no one rich. Him just want to have enough. What is enough? A man I say, boy, right now, you know, see, you know, see, rich people have more problems than poor. I'm mad, yeah, I'm mad when you say that. I'm mad, yeah, I'm mad when you say that. But rich people have more problems than poor people. Look how much poor people are Jamaica. You have, you have the majority of Jamaican people poor, yeah. and you want to be poor. Pilot. Except that rich. No, so I rethink that. Don't make no pass to come tell you that. Rethink it. And if you really have it in your mind, throw it in your mind immediately. And when the man shout, and him say, where am I say? People stop listening because where am I say? No, really coincide with where them are think and where them believe. Because where them are believe is not reality, it's not real. So if it no reflect with them, I'm not them consciousness, not them mind. Them start to call him all madman. Yes, them can't to say him a madman, man. They don't know where he must say. And really and truly, they don't know where he must say. They don't know where he must say. It's not that him don't know where he must say, because him say where he must say. And where he must say must come from somewhere. But because them can't, understand what I'm saying. Then put it off as foolishness and start to go about them business as usual. Only for find out say when them go along the road, not no dead there. Not no dead there. Just a wide space. Cause them believe that the road with them the panel go carry them go somewhere. But it does carry them that it's wide space so not not there. But the man they tell them that. The man they tell them, say, look at no no down there, so you know, no go long there. But them never listen. Ah, them listen, but them never want to heed to what him was saying. And that is the problem. 
that is the problem. Them can't turn back now because there's so much people behind them that never a listen. God, them have a problem too. Them have a problem. Yes, ill. Ill Muta. Blessed man. Yeah, man, I get, get so forward. So, yeah, man, before, me love make a, me a be selfish before me talk when I want to talk. You know. The YouTube man, them, yeah, you know, I miss the UPC and Romain Green, you know, Me too, me too, the me man, too, me too, me too, me too, the man them on the YouTube, me not understand them. The people who want to hear the monologue, uh, you have something to say, and uh, that, you know what I mean, that kind of stimulating uh, yeah. to your mind. So, you know, it lead you to think a certain way. So, the YouTube man them, we want to hear the monologue. Uh, but, not, but I want to tell you what they want to do too. They want to put some yeah. things, headline it, where we don't say nothing about where they want to put yeah, headline man, you know, it. I look something for clickbait, you know. Not and you know, a joker thing, you know. And the people when listen to your program, most of we know want that. And yeah. that's what I look for. Yes, the man say we look for something substantive. You understand? Mm. Yeah, man. I me, 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 me realize, say, me realize, say, me look at some things and me say, what wait? I went me did say that. I went me yeah, looking at it, yeah. something nothing like well, nothing like that. You no, know, no, 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 in there. Me I said, why them do that? Them not right understand, so you say if you be genuine and a program like them, your program, then they will sell themselves. Yeah. yeah. You, say, you say the people them can depend upon it, say, them are come on X. Yeah, that is a movement. You understand? Yeah. So, man and man, only now for clickbait, it's just a movement. Romeo and Green and Duke be a seed of a movement. Yeah, we'll man. Them thing there. Yeah, man. Because here, you see a man like me, Muta. I have to get up, you see all the time change, you know, I have to get up 4 o'clock to go to work. So, me is, me can't even mail it up, I can't just stay up for it. Yeah, yeah, you have, you have to catch it on YouTube. You have to, you see it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the time difference, especially now with the time shift. How much o'clock over there now? How much o'clock over there now? No, 1 hour ahead, 1 hour ahead, 1 hour ahead, 1.30. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, so you know, so you have to go jump up early for go up on the work. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah, man, but you see the thing with the, the, the court not free them and them things, I'm chatting for Mama, Mama Fire when I raised earlier and the phone get cut off. Yeah. You see, most of the people um, in a Jamaica, I'm, uh, I don't know if I'm most, I, but a great percentage we agree with that, you know, because here they must see a progress, you know. Yeah, that them say. Most of the people, a, a majority of the younger people must say that too, you know, because they don't understand what is progress, mm. you know. You know, say, in uh, this country, you have a place where you can go and you have miles and miles and miles where you don't see an electric light, electric wire, you know. some of them things they run underground. You have yeah. campsite and them things there. You know, you, know, you can't bring them things there to uh, most, you know, for them Jamaican you, you know, campsite and them things there. Like everybody has to always in tune with the latest. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. you have to go past some retreat where you lift the phone and lift the connection and just go deal with nature for a while. Yeah, of course, you know? of course. You need them thing that, you know what I mean? You can't always connect it. Them thing that make you paranoid. You know? You know, say, I will leave a youth in the garrison. Them never say a live chicken yet, you know? That's how it goes. Never say a live chicken yet. In, a, in a the 80s, we have duck and chicken and we are... Oh, you mean, man, all duck yeah, that, are, that, are, that are extinct? Yeah, man, duck extinct, man. I remember in the early 80s, we lose a drake and we never have an ex-duck, so we don't say duck, now they are Jamaica again. No, man, we have yeah, duck, yeah, man. We have, give yourself, man, we have a duck, man. Good for you, man. Good for you. We have a duck. Good, My wife bring a duck come here, so I'm bar off on the side of the yard, so I met the duck then. Yeah. <laughs> tell you. And them things that teach the youth them, you know, it, it, it teach the youth them things that the youth them never understand so they will learn. Yeah, you know what I mean? When you do yeah. live animal, it give you a connection. Mm. Here is the thing that give you them a connection when they need, the youth them need, so that the youth them survive. And next Not thing I never tell you about a, a, a suggestion when I get the government. You see, the Minister of uh, National Security, it will be a two-man job. You have one labor right and one PMP. 
understand? That should be a no, tell, tell me why you say that. No, I'm more interested in why you say that. Tell me, really, really, let me take a break and come far. Let me take the break and come far. Yeah. Carla, still there, eh? I'm not going to still, man. I'm going to hear you. Oh, you're still there? Yeah, you're not talking about the two. The two parties them should have been. Yeah, man. Papa. Tell me, yeah, tell man. me. Yeah, man. You know, because guess, the, in my opinion, when mm-hmm. a guy out of power, he never have the, he never have the answer to the, the to problem. everything, yeah. That's yeah. one thing. He have the solution to the problem. That's the one thing. But uh, on the other hand, it make them have rain in them one. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. To me, that I just went meeting. Come on, them say, you know, yeah, always have a liberal kind of people. No, it's not a bad idea. No, it's not a bad idea. Don't feel no way to say it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I just saw me think about, about that. Yeah, man. I mean, and the re- why that come in on my thought, you know, to, and it tie back into the YouTube thing, them and the youth, them, because to them, me, 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 they pan, me do some work and, me get something from my phone and when me check out, me I hear you uh, interview a virgin from the Ativali and you, them I say, and the president now come back, wah, wah. me not know how long that program is going because me never hear it. Mm-hmm. That's why me always, me I say the YouTube of them for just, you have a full package, you know what I mean? Okay, it okay. Can, it can work, you know what I mean? And yeah, the people, you know, because of some youth, don't uh, get out of the interview and then they start them voice. Oh, program. man, I interview them. Yes, some man. You know what I mean? Okay. And like, <laughs> hey. So what we are talking about? Yeah. What did I talk about? You know, talk about the violence and them things, and the war where I go on, and... You know what I mean? The youth, them were war with them, one that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know what I mean? And me, the man, them have some take on the whole thing, you know? But we need a mind shift, sh- mind shift set. And it come from the government to educate the people in the right way. Mm-hmm. We need to educate people for know what Jamaica is the key and the education for gear towards Jamaica, right? Now, the education and gear towards uh, a massa business. So everybody has a massa. And the massa the upper embassy and I just say I forgot if you yeah. go there so you know what I mean and sometimes a man like me and the best person for your dive out your message because when we tell people that them 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 are going to say about you did rare you know what I mean yeah, but, yeah, but you have to say the richest man in the world mm-hmm. never doctorate you know and never go to university you know mm-hmm. yeah man the, yeah, the richest man them. If you check them, Elon Musk and all them money. Yeah, them drop out of college, you know. Yeah, mean? yeah, you know, and them are billions, mm-hmm, billions. Mm-hmm, but, but you can shape education right now. The education system needs to just focus the youth them for love reading. Yeah, you understand, car. All them whole heap of people, them people are paying them whole heap of thousands of dollars for the university. That now I read, that now, that now I cut again. No, no, no. learn something now, five years, five years, you pay how much toes now to learn something now, five years, so I'm not that, they buy YouTube it, it, free. It's gone, it, uh, it dissolve. You know what I mean? And yeah. It dissolve, you know what I mean? Industries are, are rotated so fast now. You have to just teach it, the youth them have to learn, you have to instill reading early. Early introduction to yeah. reading, so them read and understand. When yeah. they have when you them man and man and they the car and they get some book and read to them. You see, if you don't understand it, when you them all are three, four, if them don't know the word, just read and put them name in it. Just read something, tell them yeah. story, talk to the youth them. You understand? Mm. A yeah. them thing they are gonna save we. You know what I mean? You have to make them know so them them special. You them special. Tell yeah. you them say yo it worth something you're proud of them. You understand? Yeah. And them thing they are gonna see if we you know what I mean and stop look up to some sky people and you know what I mean? Yeah. We have to put them in at the story, make them care, see themselves. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, man. And YouTube, I mean I beg on please want to hear the monologue on the thing. Why hear Muta where I'm for saying at the beginning, cause and this so him drop some gem. <laughs> All right, sir. Uh, and, yeah, man. Big up the whole East Kingston. Big up on yourself, you know. Of no course. Yeah, man. You know, 
Fireball, Star, Lucky Sprat. Big up on yourself and stay safe. Are you a motor? Big up yourself and come. Yeah, man, give time, oh, Bridget. Thing, more here, a man didn't go think about George Galloway at the election of England and here. Big up yourself, motor. All right, so, I hope him up on the line as you, as you hang up. All right. Yes. Hey, when we think, say, hey, we never think it need I know, but I hope our people feel the racism as something in a most of it who say we conscious mind, black people mind, you know. But when you see a man, a millionaire, billionaire, who give a millions to certain party in England, and then say, him not like black woman, uh, uh, black woman, I mean, wow. And people just take that as nothing. You know, if you go start to say this and that, you, you hear them go on like say, boy, you wicked for say these things. And a big man in a England who is highly respected and respected because of millions. I declare him eat for black people, black woman, and not even black people, black woman. Nice guitar solo there, so I love it. Live wire. I love I love it. I love it. But no, I never go to Africa one time there. One love concert. Not one love. Africa Unite. Hello again. Fifth time's a charm, huh? Well, you already know my stance on calling for a ceasefire by now. But my purpose today is to speak to you as a father of a two-year-old boy and a baby girl on the way. My wife, who's standing right behind me here, is seven months pregnant, and we can't wait to meet our baby girl. So in honor of my pregnant wife and my future baby girl, I'd like to focus this speech on the pregnant women of Gaza. So I'm going to start off with one of the most horrific stories that happened just last week. An Israeli tank ran over a pregnant Palestinian woman back and forth and back and forth until the fetus came out of her body. Do I need to repeat this again for you? Do you think I enjoy telling this story? Hell no. But do you need to hear it? Absolutely. Why? Because I'd like you to tell me how this act of pure evil is Israel defending itself. How this act of pure evil is targeting or thwarting Hamas. Imagine being a father that witnesses this happen to your wife and unborn child. Would you as a father sit there idly for the rest of your life doing nothing or join a resistance against the oppression of barbaric murder of your people? This is just one of the thousands and thousands of stories. There are 50,000 pregnant women in the Gaza Strip according to the United Nations Population Fund and more than 180 births taking place every day. The complete breakdown of the healthcare system coupled with a lack of food, clean water, and proper sanitation means that 50,000 pregnant women and 68,000 breastfeeding mothers in Gaza are facing the risk of preeclampsia, anemia, bleeding, infections, and death. And even when they give birth, there isn't enough fuel to keep incubators running, which results in deaths of many newborns. Premature births have also increased by 30%. As stressed and traumatized pregnant women face many challenges such as walking long distances in search of safety, running away from bombs, and being crowded in unsafe shelters. And there's now a significant increase in miscarriages, congenital abnormalities, stillbirths, mental health disorders, and maternal deaths. And now there's no space left for newborns and not enough medical staff to care for them, thus resulting in newborns being grouped together and being abandoned for hours on end. And just a couple days ago, the Israeli occupation forces arrested and detained a pregnant woman as a hostage with no charges, which they do regularly. And speaking of hostages, you're about to hear a group of dehumanizing hypocrites that are here today asking for the release of their hostages without a mention of the over 10,000 Palestinian hostages being held, a majority of which are held without charge or due process. I'm standing here right now as a father and a husband to a pregnant wife looking you directly in the eye, asking you to simply make a statement as a city, as human beings, saying that this this needs to stop permanently. If you're unable to do this simple gesture because of pressure from a group of people that think Palestinians are subhuman, specifically those that contribute to some of your campaigns, then you are a failure of a human being and are simply heartless. So in the spirit of newborns and babies, here's a little nursery rhyme I wrote for you guys. It's time for you to swallow your pride and push these lying Zionists aside because now you can no longer hide. It's time for you to take the side of human beings that have had their rights denied. It's Hello? Hello? No. Good night. Good night, sir. Yes, on the worst of the world. Oh, Mota. Yes, sir. On the worst of the world. You see, me I look on a documentary there, you see, between America and Japan. Mm. Yes, you know, the frack of what they have there, you see? Yeah. And they must say America bomb Hiroshima and Hiroshima. Pearl Harbor. Nagasaki, yeah. Yes, then she placed the boat. 
w- when we look through the documentary, you see, mm. and in the war zone, America care what that action, you know. When you go here now, you see, before you care what the action, half time, him and the Chinese man, them catch up. A Japanese so, man or Chinese? Japanese. Yeah, yeah, see him, but I, I see him Chinese, them, you know. No, man, so, you can't uh, call Japan. Japan. All right, Japan, the Japan, yeah. them. Japan. You think you can't go look on a Japanese them. and call them Chinese if you go to China, Japan? You mad? Yeah. All right, the Japanese, them. Mm. So, after I go there with the fleet now, and the Japanese, man, them, sinking for them all down every plane out of the sky. When they don't know, you take a plane and fly way around and do a fly by shooting like a drive-by shooting, fly by by bombing, mm. right? Bomb the cities, the cities of them, you know. Mm. Yeah, right? And all the soldiers, and the soldiers, they mean just bomb, you know, you know, yeah, people man, are here. Yeah, man, the whole city is a city, them bomb up, man. Right? Yeah. Show sure, you. So, all them talk it now, it likes so well then, I you know, the war thing now, America do that. And you know, the war thing, do that. After the man, them licking terrible, you know, see, cause one, one, of, one of them is they're supposed to carry at least about four to five thousand man, you know. Right? Good. And about, say, about, well, if about 14 hours or more, them, the Chinese man, them sink, the Japanese man, them sink everyone and lick out all the pills of the sky. Mm-hmm. And when you hear that now, you use an explain, right? And circle, couple, 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 thousand miles away from the, from the mile zone and go around, you know, right? See? Because I said, well, you know, sure if the plane can, can make it tight, then you use that. All right, hold on. So, so why, 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 why you attack the story, you know? What, what, why you come but, to? Why, why you attack the story? Oh, they make it look like, so well, then, you now. Oh, them talk it all the while, and make it look like, so well, then, so well, then. Uh, the Japanese I'm are the aggressor. Yeah, and then, you know, like, 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 in the war conflict that happened, Okay. That don't mean that the war conflict none at all. Mm, okay. Right? The innocent people, them, the man got dropped bump on, right? See? And then now this one, the Chinese man, then kind of pull back and say, but what is this now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what, what happened? You know, it's the only right? country that drop after and bump on people, you know? America is huh? the only country that, America is the only country that ever drop a atom bump yeah. on people, but, citizens. Buddha, Buddha. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know, in a documentary, <laughs> you know, America, so they use two garrison community, you know, you know, Mota, me as a boy, two little small garrison community, uh, Anglo America, so you know, you are mm. like, 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 you know, like, 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 like you have know, now two garrison country in, in, in a Jamaica now, you know, see. The government, the, the government, the, the Chinese government you now use the poor garrison in Pan America. I can't, I can't believe and they hide all those things. Yeah, but most, most country in America war with them no win, you know. America no win. No. Most God. country where them war with <laughs> them no win. When me look to so, 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 the Alibaba, yeah, this is the motor. It's a hell of a joke. Yeah. You know where, 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 where the documentary, <laughs> where the documentary name? I don't mean, mean I look, mean I look out to 2016 and look, look on the name. All right, you can type in the the the, the Japanese with, with American, you know, see it. Oh, the bobbing. Uh, yeah, and you can type in Afghanistan with America. That tell us a man, put in them. It's sorry for yeah. America. You're sorry for them? Yeah, waiting, uh, waiting, no, America use uh, and trick. So, one to the people, them with them bomb up, you know, sorry for them. Oh, God, man, that tell you, man. I you can't sorry for two set of things, you know. It's either you're sorry for one, or yeah. you're sorry for the other. I don't mean, know you can't sorry for the two other. Yeah, but when I say sorry now, I mean, mean say, well, then, I mean, sorry for me, but, but two, when, when, when they use and trick the world, with like, so well, then, he means the top, the top. The guardian, the guardian of people, yeah, yeah. yeah. Police, but, you know, police. You know, I'm glad, glad you know, things mm-hmm. know that your fingertip, you can't see for yourself. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, you see, where America, where America do it now is, is a is a gun is a gun man shifting him around, you know. Yeah, bully, a right? bully man, bully. But, butter. Yes, sir. 
when the Japanese them a man a load the artillery 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 them is because somebody 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 the machine them is a hand of use and load you know. We have to take a break. We have to take a break. I think. We have to take a break. Reggae radio station, the time on IWFM is. The uh, time is one minute past one o'clock. Yes, Bridget. Yes. Daniel. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, so. But you have to wrap up now, no? Cause somebody did a call. Yes. One part, you know, we see somebody. Somebody had to read what the man was using and all what you see. Because mm. some of them are uh, to the Motor, they were swing time dog and, and they go dirt yet within two foot and crash out. Mm. I saw them and they move forward and they were up in the rest of them. I tell you, you know. That's the move yet. But them and them, like if mothers move so fast, I tell you, I stop. No, I... I they swift. No, I, I, I quick them quick in the film, man. I know the people that move fast, so, man. Are the, are the no. people that, who make the movie... Yeah, but the, you can't yes, see more stiff action, more than more, more, more than the American, you know. Mm. Yeah, you yeah. know Japanese, them, you know. You understand? Yeah. Right, and yeah. then now, the, for them pilot, now you know, you know, some Americans have no flying black pilot like them, though. Mm. No, sir. I don't matter if you look here. What him, what, 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 what America take for joke is dead to them. Yeah. Yeah, because. Yeah. This is the man named Flyer Play against him. I go up in the skies, man, and, and come straight down to the ferry, you know. And I said, Wow. I'm calling it Suicide Bombers. All right. Suicide look like you know the document. You look like you know the documentary. No, I don't you know the documentary. You're the video on the head. I, I know only Japanese do that. What if all them people in other parts of the world eh, do it, you know? Suicide Bombers. Them just fly the plane and bomb up the whole thing, everything, blow up everybody. All them well, stuff. as far as Mr. America be doing, just fling in, just throwing in, in flag and say, right, that's it. No, them not going to do that. Anyway, we have to move. Them not going to do that. All right, sir. And next yeah, time. Blessed. Yeah, all right. Yes. Eel. Next line there. Um, eh? Gone, them gone. All right. What is the success rate of sex change operations? Well, we have, uh, it, it's hard to find longer term data with uh, um, children, but what the data that we do have, which is probably the most reliable data point available, is from a Swedish study, and it looked at uh, over 10 years, which is really important because regret doesn't just happen a year after uh, mm. some sort of transition. And what you see is a suicide rate that's associated with 19 times higher than the general population. Well, actually, there is a zero uh, 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 percent, there's a 100 percent failure rate for sex change operations, isn't there? A hundred percent failure rate. Thank you, and I yield. All right, listen to that. Yes, Eel. Eel? Why am I out if you said somebody there? man who calls himself trans is wearing woman face no different than I would wear black face trying to be a black person. I understand. And it's, as, it's assuming an identity that isn't yours. On that specific example, I think it's the intention behind it. The intention is completely irrelevant. It's the action that we must judge. Correct? And so if somebody are... robs a bank because they're poor, they should still go to jail regardless if they're poor or rich. If somebody appropriates a womanhood identity, they could say, well, I just wanted to be happy or I just, want, I just wanted to win the NCAA championship because I, just, I wasn't able to compete against men. We should call them a cheater. He said on ESPN, I just wanted to be happy. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of happy cheaters out there. That's why we have standards. I feel like you're giving a lot more malicious intent to these individuals. But it's irrelevant. They're doing something evil. It doesn't matter if they think they're doing good. The Nazis thought they were doing good. Every evil force in the history of the world thinks they're doing good. Yes, I want to play it again. I want to play it again. Believe you. Man who calls himself trans is wearing woman face no different than I would wear black face trying to be a black person. I understand. And All right, I'm going to make the call out Yes, Eel. Eel? Yo, I'm Blessed man. Yeah, man. Yes, a King James are here, you know. Me hear you, man. Yes. Why can't you go to the again, Mota? Power. 
if you I refer to the award in 2019, you know? Yeah, when you see that, no. So then that no, then that no gone a long time, brother. You just can't get to it. It's a powerful year because the Bible says it. They even declare the glory of God. No, hold on, hold on. That gone from 1922 and 2223. Four, four years now, you just said that. Where you see it? No, no, man. I tell you, almost that time, I tell you, man. Oh, uh, well, I you can't know, so it can't again. Most people, um, when they listen to your program, they mm. even declare the calling you, they get dedicated for your program, you know? Okay. They even declare the glory of God, you know? But when I say Muta, what is the glory of God? The glory, man, is, is everything but that is good, you know? Okay. Muta, you hear what I say? Mm. Christopher Columbus, right now, happy in and grave, you know? Christopher Columbus, yeah, happy in and grave. I think he's dead. Where well, him do? Bur bury him alive? No, he's dead, but him, him happy still, his spirit happy, you know? Oh, you know that? Because it's true, he discovers him, he tells the people, he says, Jesus is white, you know? Okay. You understand? Okay. So, it's Christopher Columbus, happy man, come here, tell him, man. He could lie when he tells him, he Christ, everything, Chris, you know? So, he mm. discovers Jamaica, but you know that there will not come to Jamaica, man. And, you know, you, you want the people to know, say, Jesus is a white man, you know? Like himself, you know? Okay. So, me I tell you, say, boy, I, Christopher Columbus happy to say, you live, you know? Because Bob Marley say, I and I live, come tell the tears, you know? Because mm -hmm. right now, Christopher Columbus, all of them say, Mr. Blast is like, but him like still, but I just see life, he, he say, boy, I, when you come back from earth, you tell him, say, Jesus is white, you know? So, where you are now? No, I and I are man. You know, yeah, so we, they may not depart earth, man. If I and I are yeah, so we Jack come back from earth. Jack, yeah, yeah, like come back from earth. No, but yeah, make it sound like Jack not depart earth. Eh? I found 68, I come back from no. earth, you know. So which part is it there? Before you come back from earth, where is it there? <laughs> Mota. Where are you from? And next year, me show it. Yeah, yeah, take care. Yeah. All right, sir. All right. Give thanks, man. Thank Give thanks to the call. Them over the night, sir. Believe you me. Okay. But where did I play? Where did I play? We don't play that. <laughs> All right, sir. We don't play that. This is what I play, you know. Well, my people, we have made it to the end. It was a really long journey. Really, really long journey. Enough respect to all of who stick around until this point really educational and I, I learn a lot so much but if you made it this far I want you to type hashtag black power down in the comment section so I can know that you are one of the few that made it this far and you all have hear what Muta Baruka have to say so now it's your time to leave your thoughts and opinion down in the comment section and you know it's a black power movement, so definitely drop a like and subscribe and share if you haven't done it already. The time is now 6.30 a.m. in the morning and I'm really sleepy. I'll catch you in the next one. Irie.